Hi everyone. From next part, we started working on APIs in Laravel. So in this part, we will take basic understanding about APIs. So first we'll talk what is API, how we can use it, where we have to use it and how API data look like. And at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So let's talk about first question, what is API? And one more thing that can be asked in interviews from Fresher, which is what API stand for. So API stands for application programming interface. And this is a way to share data between two technologies or two projects, you can say that. All right, so now maybe you can ask one question like why we have to share data between two technologies or in two projects. So let me explain you. So let's take an example. Uh, we are making a very large scale application for ticket booking, right? And these tickets can be booked from Android application, iOS application, from website also. So in that case, we, we are very sure like database should be centralized. Why? Because if you will use the different database for website, different data for, uh, base for Android and different database for iOS, then there will be definitely some conflicts for booking the tickets and booking the sheets because let's say you have 100 sheets and uh, sheet number 20 it booked from the iOS as well as from Android and as well as from the uh, website so three person cannot sit on the single sheet right so that's why the database should be centralized so that uh, other platform like if you are booking from Android application then iOS and web application also get to know like this ticket is already booked from somewhere else right so in this case for example uh, you are making that database connection things in laravel and that data we have to share with the uh, web applications like for uh, uh, browsers in react and angular uh, in android application and in ios application so that how we can share data between these technologies definitely with the help of apis right so this is the uh, point like why we need to uh, to use the apis and there is a one more reason like uh, many technologies cannot directly connect with the database for example if we are talking about the uh, ui technologies like angular react view they cannot connect directly with the database because these are the client side scripting language technology right javascript uh, technologies so they can only interact with the user they cannot interact with the database so in this case, first we have to create APIs in any server side scripting language, maybe in PHP or Java or in Node. And then we send this data to the uh, like UI technologies like in Angular and Vue and React with the help of APIs. All right. So if someone asks to you like uh, where we need API, so you can give example for ticket booking application like we should need a centralized database and one programming language can fetch this data and create APIs and that APIs will connected with the iOS, Android and different different platforms. All right. So this is how actually API data look like. So long back, uh, you can say that approximately 10, 15 years back uh, when we are using the old technology, then data uh, was in the XML format, but now we are using the JSON format for this this data and this data is un Understandable in almost all technologies and in almost all programming language if you just provide this data to the Python or PHP or uh, Java or uh, JavaScript all programming language can understand this data That's why we use this JSON format for API's so that's all for this part. If you still have any confusion, any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And from next part, we start working with the APIs in Laravel. Thank you so much for watching this part. Thanks, guys.